Okay, everyone, welcome to week eight. We're in our last week of class. Uh, by this time, hopefully you have gone ahead and read your Francis Schaeffer essay and have already started working on this capstone paper. Uh, some interesting things we got going on this week. We do have our last review quiz, our last reflect journal, and you have your capstone project or critical assignment. This is the same thing. What the university has done is they've completely changed the way that we submit these assignments. We're using a program called Task Stream now. And if you notice, I've given you a note here in the agenda. Please download and read the attached PDF instructions for submitting your capstone project slash critical assignment. And that is what you will find here. It looks like this. It's about a seven page step by step. It'll walk you through with images exactly how you use Task Stream. Uh, if you're having any issues with it, please don't hesitate to ask, as this is new for both of us. Uh, we will troubleshoot and work through that together. So make sure that you take a look at that. Before we dive into the actual assignments this week, please keep in mind that the due dates this week are a little bit different than they normally are. I know normally our assignments are due Sunday nights at midnight. This week, because it's the last week of class and spinal grades are submitted uh, next Monday, at 4 p.m. Uh, we have them do a little bit earlier. So your capstone project or critical assignment, same thing, is due on Friday the 28th at midnight. Your reflect journal and your quiz are due Saturday at midnight. So that's just to make sure we get everything in and done with, uh, with giving me plenty of time to get it graded accurately and back to you and in the grade book for those final grades. Please also know that you will need to complete your course evaluation prior to attempting your quiz as you will need to submit proof of completion for credit on this quiz. So I give you a decent amount of points here on this quiz just for doing your course evaluation. And you can submit a screenshot or a PDF of your completion page. So make sure you don't wait till you open the quiz to then go in and do your course evaluation. Do it ahead of time. That way uh, you're not having to kind of go back and forth between the two. Okay, your final journal entry, this reflection on the course. Uh, simply, what has been the most eye-opening experience in taking this class? Why? Is there any constructive feedback you might have? So again, this is one of those journal entries. I'm looking for the equivalent of a page double spaced. You don't need to submit an attachment, but I expect that length of work uh, there. And I do read these and I find them very valuable. You have your quiz, and again, you have to make sure that your course eval is complete uh, before you submit your quiz. So again, those are due Saturday night at midnight. And your capstone project, we've already gone over in the week seven learning activities, uh, our, excuse me, in our agenda video. Uh, I went over quite extensively. So again, this is that 10 to 12 page paper. I'm looking for 10 to 12 pages of text, not including your works cited in your title page and your images, all that wonderful stuff. Uh, if you have read through Schaefer and are having trouble understanding a couple of these perspectives, or if you just want to run by me, hey, this is the artwork I was thinking of using uh, in this case study for perspective number five. Uh, do you think this is a good match? Do you, you know, send me an email and I'm more than happy to give you some feedback on that and tell you if I think you're on the right track. So again, and I keep saying this throughout the session, uh, I'm a tool here for you to use. So make sure that you send me emails and run things by me uh, if you're struggling or if you just want that little extra advice on, uh, on these papers. So you'll notice that there are directions for submitting critical assignments. So if I go in and I turn my edit mode off so that it looks more like how yours work, uh, looks, if you hit on write uh, capstone project, you'll notice there's nowhere here that you would hit to submit it. So you need to go under the tab for submit critical assignment. The next item that you will see is directions for submitting critical assignment. So they've built this into Blackboard now for us. So you can go through this or you can go back to that week eight agenda and you can download this PDF and that will walk you through in even more detail how this works. And then when you're ready to submit critical assignment, uh, it's gonna redirect you. Of course, mine looks a little bit different than yours, but it will walk you through this whole process in task stream of how we do this. So that's all we've got going on for this week. Hopefully, again, you've uh, been working on that capstone project already. You've got a good start on it, and that's why we had very little due week seven. So I will have those discussion boards back to you within the next couple of days from week seven. 
Uh, any questions about any grades thus far, please ask me now. Uh, don't wait till the end of the class to say, hey, I wasn't sure about this grade on this project. Uh, by then it will be too late. So this week is the week to ask me if there's something you're unclear about in the grade book or something you wanted more feedback on. So again, we have final reflection, quiz, capstone project, or critical assignment. So that's the same thing. Any questions about any of this, let me know. You guys have been an excellent group. I've really enjoyed this class. Uh, great participation on discussion boards. Really thought-provoking uh, critical uh, analysis going on in your papers. So give yourselves a pat on the back. I know this is, uh, it's not an easy class and you have all handled it extremely well. So thank you for being a great class and I hope you have a good rest of your year.